Without the generosity and support of our fans and everyone who contributes to FGCU Athletics, achieving my dream of becoming an Eagle would have never been made possible. Thank you. Alyssa first has done a tremendous job for us for a really long time. She works really hard. She's an excellent student. She's helped us for so long. We knew that we wanted to put her on scholarship. It's team dinner. We do team dinner all the time. The plan was to go support the men's soccer team afterwards. And after team dinner, we usually play a game of some sort. We're all so competitive that it kind of gets intense. Coach Lyles had a great idea about using the Heads Up app to uh, make it so Alyssa had to guess what was going on. We thought it was something that would get the players excited when they saw it because they had no idea it was coming. So it flipped up and everybody kind of went silent for like a second and then everyone jumped up. <laughs> and in my like heart, I was like, no way. Like this isn't something you want to be wrong about. Like guess it and have it be super awkward and be like, oh, you're not on scholarship. <laughs> so um, then they started, they started like shooting and then some people started doing like money signs. And then all of a sudden, Chandler Ryan is like in my face, like signing something. And that's when I knew. <laughs> the C just, it build in that moment where all of her teammates know, but she doesn't know. I think the coolest part was being able to experience it with my teammates. They were genuinely excited for me and happy for me. Like they're there with me every day and they're showing me the way and just to kind of be able to earn that with them and be along with them was like really, really cool. When she finally figures it out, it kind of shows how close our whole team is, the excitement that we have for one another and we're happy when people have successes and earn things and it was uh, you know, great to see a Naz jump over a chair to be part of the celebration and everybody surround her and hug her. And I think it was a moment that was special for her, but it was also special for our whole team. I always tell people my dream came true the second I was given a jersey here, scholarship or not, being able to be a part of this amazing program and win games. I've been to two NCAA tournaments in two years. So every day when I was working in the gym, it wasn't really to get a scholarship, it was just to better myself as a player. She's somebody that we can count on to you know, practice, always give a full effort. This summer, I think was a really big turning point. Um, I stayed for all 12 weeks, so I was able to work out with Travis for an hour, two hours a day. I think that changed my body. I'm definitely in the best shape of my life. She comes in on her own, works extra. Uh, she spent a lot of time over the last two years developing her shot and improving her shot by being consistent about coming in before practice every single day. It's part of her routine. Say we had workouts at 6.30, I'd come in at 5.30 and shoot 200 threes. And then usually after practice, I like to run on the treadmill for 10 or so minutes just to stay in shape and try to keep up. We got some fast girls on the team. It's hard to keep up with them. She's put in a lot of hours and a lot of work. She's improved a great deal in two years and she's a valuable part of our team. That's why we wanted to reward her with a scholarship. I always think it's funny because our team prides ourselves on shooting and defense, and this coaching staff took a risk on a girl who had horrible shooting form and couldn't play defense. So just to have their trust, and they always wanted me to get better, just like they wanted anyone else to get better. And I'm just so thankful for that. Because of our generous supporters, stories like these are possible.